What's going on YouTube? So today, um, I have a, another commentary for you guys. This one is on the wedding that we did in Tennessee for one of our best clients, Sean Ryan, former Navy SEAL, CAA contractor. A uh, link to his channel is in the description. We've been doing a lot of his videos for a while. We, yeah. we got, you know, as a group, his YouTube channel went from zero to, now I think it's at like 400,000 subscribers. Yeah. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, he moved to Tennessee. He used to live in South Florida near us. And now he has his own setup. He's killing it with his own podcast. Yep. He has his own cameras doing everything up there. And yeah, he's doing great. Yeah. Business partner, Jesse. Um, yeah, no, that's, that's it. That's really it. We both own the company. We both yeah. do everything. Um, we're motive. Yeah, but I wanted to bring him uh, from his desk to here for this one because this one we both traveled together we went to tennessee um i just uploaded one that uh, i did in italy with my friend danny and uh whenever he gets over here to the office uh, i'll do the commentary with him on that one but for this one this one was like crazy um i had a 104 temperature fever the night before going to this wedding we we're both um, sick I was so sick, like super sick. When we got to the hotel room, like we were like, "Crap, we have to film a wedding." So, but um, we were not feeling it because we want. We were excited for this day, but it was just, we yeah, just, we got sick. Yeah. First thing, like I normally do, is just go through the comments. But for this one, I mean, there's really, there's really no comments asking questions. It's just. Just positive comments. Best wedding video I've ever seen. I yeah okay. Images are incredible. Thank you. Uh, Sean commented. Um, yeah, thank you. Katie, the bride, commented. And it's funny because that one has the most likes. So it's it. it's cool that like you guys figured out that that was her. Thanks for the tech details. Always in the description of my videos. I just kind of give a brief like a uh, technicalities thing on. Um, the, the the tech, you know? And I list all my gear and everything. Um, just again, great comments, great work, great work. Uh, the only real question was, how do you grade your footage shot in Cine Like D? Um, for the S1H, uh, honestly what I do is I just drop the shadows a little bit, increase the exposure to compensate for that. Normally I like to make the skin tones look good then I decrease the shadows so it doesn't really affect um, like the highlights and that like the skin tones that much. And I bump up the contrast, whatever I like, saturate certain colors, whatever. And then was it a LUT? Yeah, we have like a bunch of LUTs that we have and whatever I'm feeling for that couple, I just pop that LUT on maybe at like 20, 30% just to give every single image like that polished LUT look whatever um but grading just all comes down to each individual shot making sure that all of them match and yeah normally how we do it jesse would just edit like the video to like 90 percent completion and then i'll go in and do the audio and then do the color uh we've been doing that for a while now and that's like the best the most efficient way to get things done yeah and then because we got to run a company too like there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff, you know. Um, they live in a really small town called Leapers Fork, Tennessee, and what you see on the screen is literally the whole entire town. Yeah. So it's really cool. This little place here, is it here? Yeah. yeah. Is the best breakfast place in the world, and I was really looking forward to going to that place. Yeah. Every time we go to Tennessee, that's the place I want to go for breakfast, and we couldn't because. We were sick. sick and I stayed in bed and felt like I had to throw up for until maybe like 10, 11 a.m. And the plan was to get up at like eight and go eat breakfast. But unfortunately I didn't. So Sean, if you're watching, please fly spike up so I can go there. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Again, just more, more drone shots. Let me mute that. Yeah. Um, this is where she got ready. Uh, this is with the Tokina lens. Um, I love getting using that lens just to be able to get like a nice like establishing shot because you could be 
I'm at like 14 millimeters right there. The house is supposedly owned by Justin Timberlake. I didn't know. Yeah, Katie, that's why there were like the records. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, just detail shots. That was done on what, 85 millimeter? 24 to 105. 20, yeah, I'm completely wrong. Whatever. Yeah. 24 to 105. Uh, yeah, and everything's the S1H. Um, there was no X-T3 for this one. We just didn't bring the gimbal, uh, the Ronin, um, and then Did all... we not? We didn't bring the gimbal Ronin? No, we didn't. Everything was handheld on the S1H. Wow. So all the moving shots was handheld. Cool. Um, 85s on the side, right? Yeah. So, so just two 85 millimeters on the side, and then just the Sennheiser lav on Sean. And the um, groom. this church was kind of difficult because it was not like a traditional like setup where there's like a middle aisle. So for example, uh, Patrick was filming 85, but I was 85 as well, but super 35. Yeah, so, so he, like on the S1H, you have like the crop mode. Yeah. And then the normal full frame mode. So he was shooting crop. So when you see his shot of the groom, it's just, it's more like punched in. Yeah. Uh, the dress shots, um, I'm pretty sure I just did on 24 to 105. Uh, we brought the slider. Yeah, we brought the slider, but we yeah. broke it down. Normally we don't break it down. We just have our wagon and we just, the sliders in there on the tripod at all times. Yeah. But uh, yeah, 24 millimeters. Yeah. Then the next shot is probably at like 105. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then I decided with this shot, we just what, punched in in, bit. in post. Yeah. 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 Uh, again. 24 to 105. 24 to 105, but what was really cool with this is just in the corner of the kitchen in that house, we saw the shadows coming through the window uh, grab yeah. the table, put a table there, and filmed it like that. And that's one thing too, sorry, like, on a wedding day, you gotta be as creative as possible, like, you walk into an area, like, thank God this, this particular wedding, everything looks nice, so, you know, but, the first thing I do when I walk into a room is try to find a window light, you know? And in this particular case, there was just like, a nice yeah. little corner, and there was nice shadows, and we just took advantage of it. Yeah, with the window light thing, it's like, the first thing I do is just turn off all yeah. the lights inside a room. And then like sometimes that's even led to like arguments. Sometimes with, you like, can't cause like, yeah. The like ma makeup like artists the makeup or artists different want vendors. Some lighting. But yeah. the good thing, another thing on wedding day is like, you wanna make good relationships with vendors. So the more you do it, I see that one makeup person that I've worked with so many times, I'm like, yo, lights. And they're like, they just give me that nod. And then yeah, we're good to go. Yeah. So. Daylight is natural light's the best thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, again, 24 to 105, 24 to 105, everything yeah. on the, the slider, nothing crazy. I think those were shot in 60 frames a second, so I was able to slow that down. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Uh, and this is his shot on yeah. the other side. You can see it's a lot more cropped in than, uh, yeah, the other one. Uh, just more drone stuff. Um, then that, that was the church right here. So it's yeah. like inside the town too. Uh, yeah, again, really small. And then for the most part, like when I'm with the groom, if I have a lot of room, I'm on the 85 most of the time. Yeah, so on a normal wedding day, I normally go with the bride and then Jesse goes with the groom. So when you see all the groom prep shots, it's him. And then when it's the bride stuff, it's me. Um, and then if we have like another shooter, that's just mixed, mixed in with everything. So that's what, 24 to 105? I believe it's 85. 85. Because I had, in their house is big, like it's long, so I have a lot of room. Yeah. So. And when he goes to the groom, he doesn't have the slider. So you can see that the movements are slightly different. It's just like normal like tilts. Which and is like, fine sometimes. Sometimes yeah. you don't need that slider shot. Yeah. You know? And then from here, it was really tight, so I just switch over to the 50, and... And then use natural so, light. Yeah, and sometimes, like, just depending on the photographers, the photographers for this wedding were awesome, Yeah. but sometimes run and gun, you know? I wanted to set up at one location next to the window, but Sean was like, no, I want to do it in this one room because I like it. And I'm like, all right, cool. So we did it in this one room, thank God it worked out, you know, but... Yeah, I was on the 50 because I felt like in the 85 was a little bit more creative of a lens. So on the 50, I could just be more run and gun. Yeah. So 
I went ahead and switched that up. Um, all right. Uh, again, I'm pretty sure all the lights were turned off in the house. Yes. For the most part. Yes and no, because like the, the window light was primarily inside, but there was like a lamp that he wanted on, you know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah. And then again, you can see it's the same exact like setup. Uh, I would say I'm most likely, I no, I am on a 50 millimeter at this point. Um, I switched from the, the 24 to 105 we use for the details just because it's easy to, you zoom in, you zoom out, it's wide, you zoom in, it's close up and you're done. But then the 50, the image looks amazing and that's why we switch over when we're doing like the, the yeah. other details. Yeah, 50. Yeah. Fifty. I kind of get the same shots every single time on a wedding day, you know, it's kind of like our style too and Yeah, I just try to Because like when when somebody books us they want that look yeah, so, like they, they see what we offer Yeah, and they just expect it exactly, you know It doesn't really make sense to do something all like crazy and different and then they're like exactly. why did you get the shot in like your 17 other videos and then it's like yeah, well, so yeah. we do the same thing normally too like on a wedding day a lot of people here I'm guessing you do weddings or want to get into weddings. Like when I'm doing this one shot, it's hard because the photographer is pretty much the one in charge, you yeah. know? Yeah. So I let them do their thing. And then I walk, I say, look, do your thing. All I need is three minutes with the groom and I want to get my, my core shots. Once I'm done with that, then we're good. Yeah. You know, it and doesn't then, make sense to fight over the shots. So no. Just wait, no. get your shot. And, and let's just say worst comes to worse. The photographer's mean and doesn't let me get the shots I want. Yeah. It's which, fine because I was filming what they were getting. Yeah. You know, which are not the best shots, but they're usable because we're filming it. So. Um, again, just all natural light, 50 millimeter. Yeah. Again, never be afraid also to tell, like redo something. 100%. Uh, a lot of times the, the dress when it's like a zip up dress is just... All right, you ready? Zip, done. It's like, whoa, wait up. Can you do that like one more time? And then just have them yeah. do it. Don't be afraid. But and in this case, I was really lucky because these are like the, the button things. So it, I was just filming it as it was actually happening. But yeah, don't be afraid to like say and that you stuff. And you would think that they would be thinking like, oh, they're unprofessional or oh, they messed up the shot. But no, they. if you're like, hey, let's do the shot again because I want to nail it this time. Yeah, and I remember gonna, like- They're gonna want that because like, it's their video. You're hired. Yeah. To do that. Yep. You know, you're not hired to just like miss the shot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No. Yeah, just say it. Yep. Um again, just uh I think these shots were done after the wedding. after the ceremony. Yeah. But I throw them in there just to show like yeah. this is the bride and this is when like she this is how she looks when she's done getting dressed. Another thing too, like with those shots, well not this one, but the prior shot, like that's all props to the photographer, you know, like they tell them what to do and usually a good photographer will be like hey let's get some shots of just the bride by themselves and yeah. then we're able to get those shots and we don't even talk at this point we're yeah. just literally just behind the photographer capturing these shots yeah and then again luckily for us um where she got ready was the blue house across the street from the yeah. church for the ceremony so it was just like super easy it was super easy the timeline what they there was a lot of time there like it was a really chill day. And keep in mind, we were sick. And it's like 30 degrees outside. And we were sick. So I, uh, we had like this joke where we, I looked like a hitman because I was wearing like black gloves, a black long sleeve, a suit. Did we wear suits? We, yeah, we, we wore, wore suits. suits. We wore suits. We don't normally do, but it was cold too, so. Yeah, it was freezing. And then I left like my charger in the car and I had to run out in 20 degrees to get the charger and I was dying. It was horrible, whatever. We'll get to the reception later, but. Again, this shot, uh, handheld, um, just walking, no Ronin, no nothing, 60 frames a second. Literally followed her from here yeah. to this shot. Yep. And those are the only like four seconds we used. I mean, the, the whole shot's good, but you know, you had to break it up for the video. Um, yep. There's, it's just the ceremony stuff. We already Vows. talked about that. Oh, and he pressed pause for a second. So in this in this um, church, there was no audio input. So 
one thing that we had to do, that's why we use the Sennheisers. So he was filming the bride and my job was, yo, I gotta mic up the groom and the officiant, you know? And a lot of times the groom's like, yo, I do not like it in my suit. It's really tight, but you gotta figure out a way to not make it look tight and use yeah. that audio because it's essential. If we didn't use the Sennheisers, there would be no story. Audio is the most important part of the video, so. Yeah, that's one of the biggest things we come across, especially now with like today's style, everything's like super fitted and nice. And then once you say, hey, can I put this like five inch <laughs> by three inch like box in your suit, they're like, no. Yeah. But like the last wedding we just did, which I think I'm gonna upload, Dana, yeah. Dana and Aaron. Yeah. Um, they, he had the clip yeah. on the back. Yeah, just, I just, yeah, clip just on like, the back, you know? The clip. And it works out, no one notices it. It's a little bit more work, you know, but hey, if yeah. you you want to make it look good, it's just three extra seconds to do it. Exactly. And, uh, and we just go. have the kiss shots. And then for this one, again, I didn't have the gimbal with the exit, so I had to take my camera off, um, switch lenses, and then just film this at 60. All the flares are real. Just throwing that out there. Um, yeah, and then again, I ran across the street because they, they left from that church, walked across the street, and then relaxed and took a break. Yeah. So I ran across the street, got this shot, glad I was able to use it, back out to the drone shot, um, then into the portraits. And another thing too, Prince Paz, when the drone stuff, we try to take up the drone at least once, you know, like it, we don't want to take it out a lot of times. Like, yeah, and like sometimes a client doesn't book the drone, but I mean, like, no, no, we're gonna do it. And we're still gonna do it because it, it just it helps out. Yeah. But what I'm trying to say is that, like, you don't need a million shots. You don't need to, like, if he would have taken off the drone right after the ceremony to get that one shot of everybody walking out of the ceremony, them, uh, portraits of them, we would have wasted so much time. Yeah. You know, so like one thing that don't we waste do, your time on the drone so much. We never really fly the drone to capture people. Yeah. We only use it to capture like the really, really wide shots and locations. Yep. Um, a lot of companies do that, but we don't. It, we have nothing yeah. on that. You yeah. know, you can, but if you, ha it's just me and him. Yeah. We don't have 10 people working with us, so we're not going to waste the time with that. Uh, into the portraits. I mean, I'm pretty sure how this ran. Yeah. I had a 50, and you had 85. an 85. So all these shots are just between 50 and 85. 85 was mostly stationary with yeah. that little like left to right yeah. movement. And then the 50 was like, I was trying to move. Another thing and too, like you got to keep in mind, we're working with photographers too. They need to get their shots. So no, most of the time photographers are on a 50 millimeter lens or in a 35 millimeter lens. And I know sometimes you can get a nice shot with a 35 millimeter yeah. with, the, with the video, but then you're an a-hole that is in front of the photographer's way. So we're courteous, we stay on the 50, we stay on the 85, yeah. and we don't bother them. We let the photographers do their thing, and then every now and then like we'll be like, hey, um, walk and talk, you know? Yeah. So the main things we say is, whisper something funny into your bride's ear, walk and talk, and four heads together. And belly button to belly button. Belly button to belly button. That's really it. And with that, you get everything you need. Yep. So this, walk and talk. And I mean, they're an awesome couple. Yeah. They, so just they naturally, have, yeah. they smile and laugh. And half the time, like, honestly, we're just like joking around with them because we have a relationship yeah, with them. Exactly. So like, we're able to say like uh, inside jokes and just make yeah. them both laugh at the same time. And like, it, yes, there was one thing that she said the day. Yeah, what was it so? Sean is a Navy SEAL and he's always concealed. Like he always has his gun. He always on has him, a concealed. But gun he didn't have him. his gun on him during the ceremony, and then she was joking about uh, you're not packing or whatever. She's like, "Are you packing?" Because so, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, that, we kept on going along with that. Like on the wedding day, don't be so lame. Like, just have fun. Like, have fun on the day. Like, yeah. they hired you because they see potential in you and they like you. Yeah. Not just as a video person, but exactly. as, a, as a normal person. Like, just so. don't be afraid. Like, you're just you're just there. You're just having a good time. So literally, when we're doing portraits, that's the time that we're just, honestly, the chillest. We're just- Yeah, just having a good time. We're literally just talking to them, filming like, them. We're having fun. Yeah. Like, yeah, then again, 50 millimeter, just walking getting technical again just I think that was 85 too maybe I don't know I don't know whatever 
And again, even like they're sitting there, you think it's like all nice romantic, but then you have like Jesse in the corner saying, is he packing? And then yeah. you get them both to laugh, you know? And it makes for the shot. And just being natural. Uh, this shot was actually like out of focus. This one, but I just, I love it. So, and it shows off the city and whatever. We used to whatever. be so picky, you know, but sometimes you just gotta, you have to have fun on edit. Yeah. You just, you gotta put more stuff into it. Again, all, this is the 50 millimeter walking and then 85. Yeah. And I think from there, yeah, we went over to the reception area. Uh, I mean, the reception is like pretty much it, but there's a couple portraits here. Uh, we're lucky enough to run out to the back. They yeah. had this huge, massive tree. So we said, go, go to the tree. And props to the photographers. Like they they work like us. So you can't, sometimes the couple will say, oh, we're too tired. We don't want to take any more shots. You know, they just finished doing all the portraits and now they're chilling at Cock Tower. But there was a beautiful sunset with, when we just saw that tree, yeah, you know, like and they, they got the, the couple, they're like, we got to do it now. And we did it, you know, and it came out perfect. So don't be afraid to pull the couple and get something with them, you know? Yeah. So mind you, it's like 30 degrees. The sun's going down. The grass is like wet, but awesome couple, awesome photographer. We said, do you guys mind going out there? Photographer dragged us out there with him. Yeah. And we got these shots and, and we have that framed up on like the wall right now and so and another thing too with just stressing being good with the photographer the photographer picked out this shot like they were the one that saw this and they got it if we were not courteous throughout the whole entire day they would have not called us to get this one shot yeah like we were inside getting reception details yeah. and they were like yo patrick and jesse i yep. we getting the shot but again like you always come across that one photographer that just does it on the side, but I mean, whatever. It is what it is, and we live that way. Then, um, I mean, yeah, just, uh, what was that, the 85? That's 80, that's 80. The other no, 50? I'm on the 24 to 105, because I was like, I gotta do quick. And I just got done with the, the reception the, details. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And again, you see here, just them laughing. So this was forehead to forehead, belly button to belly button. Yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> And then this was just laugh at each other. Oh my God, you guys are getting married. I love it. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Literally, that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get that shot. And then I flew the drone just sometime in there. Um, and then yeah, reception looked spectacular. So the, Beautiful. these shots don't even do it justice, but we'll just play it out. This was what, the 11 to 16? Uh, uh, Tokina, yeah. And then I switched to 24 to 105. And keep in mind, while this is happening, Patrick's getting the drone shot, setting up the audio, and getting some extra, like some extra shots for the long version. Yeah, they had like a special gift made out of metal. It was like a gun, like a rifle made out of metal. So I just walked over there with the 50, got these in slow motion Literally. just to throw Pretty in. Quick. And then the light coming through the, the barn for the flares uh, looks good. Again, two cameras, 85 and a 50. That's basically what we ran the rest of the night. Another thing too, there's no AC in this barn. There's no heaters in this barn. The only no, heaters they, are the- They were heaters. There was like heaters, the but portable, it was cold. The portable heaters. So unless you were two feet away from them, yeah. So at the end of the night- I had like hand warmers on my, my hands. Yeah, they had like, hand warmers. Yeah, so I, It's just weird for us because we're from Miami, but yeah. everywhere else except South Florida, you like- Yeah, you'd be used to we're it. Just, we're just lame we're, and we're yeah. babies. Um. Yeah. Dancing, you know, we, we shoot everything super safe because we have to make a long version with it too. We just don't share that. Yeah. And then just into the party dancing stuff, mostly 85 and 50 and portable heaters around the dance floor. Yeah, now just fun. And it was cool because since we knew Sean and Katie, we had fun too, you know? We danced, we had a good time. Yeah, and it's really cool because like, when you just skim through it, you see like multiple clients that we worked with. So this was like a different, it was a, it was a nice wedding to be at. And especially if you check out Sean's YouTube channel, yeah, you'll you recognize know, yeah. all those faces that we just threw into the dancing shots. K-cutting, 
Normally when that happens, um, one of us will pick the hands, yeah. the other one will pick the, the, uh, the close-up shot. Yeah. So let me see, like, yeah, literally have that, Yeah. close-up there, or medium, whatever you want to call it, yeah. and then that's that. Then the exit. And yeah. I was holding a light while they were walking. Cause, yeah. Because, like, sometimes you don't need multiple cameras, you know? So... I'd rather just be that guy with the light and help out everybody else out. So yeah. I just and grabbed like, it and followed them. Yeah, and one thing that, um, again, I'm not like saying it's wrong to do this stuff, but one thing that we do is like, if I'm getting a shot, he knows I'm getting the shot. Exactly. If he's getting the shot, I know it too. It's not a competition. Yeah, you're At working. the end of the day, the video is for Sean and Katie, and that's it. So when I say, look, I'm gonna get the shot, okay. you're gonna get a light. All right. All right, done, that's it. And then we get it. You see the final shot, slow motion, 60 frames per second, 50 millimeter, and then it's done. That's it. Logo, and that's it. Guys, have any more questions? Feel free to leave them in the comment section. Check out the description for links to all that other stuff that I mentioned. Um, you have anything else? Um, no, um, one, one thing too, I don't know if you'll show it later, but there's a lot more that goes into this. We end up editing a long version of every wedding that we do. That's like 30 plus minutes or an hour long. And yeah, but that's more like personal, so I'm not gonna- No, we're not gonna that. share, we're not gonna yeah. share it. But what I'm trying to say is that, keep in mind, we're filming this and we have to keep in our mind too that, oh, we gotta not be as creative and capture everything else. Yeah. You know? So, oh, on a wedding day, we're not just shooting like, the highlight we're shooting everything like we're, we're filming every little detail yeah and then we got to make a highlight from there yeah so i don't know it's interesting thanks for watching comment like subscribe i'll talk to you guys later bye